this is gonna be a my do-it-yourself 100 amp hour about 1200 watt solar generator um, so I have one hundred amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery a toolbox which I've started modifying already a MPPT solar charge controller a 20 amp lithium battery charger uh, a battery monitor a 300 watts pure sine wave inverter and I've put a USB and a 12 volt port on the top of this box already. And I've already started cutting portions of this box out to fit these items. On top of the battery I have a 100 amp cir circuit breaker and a 6 blade fuse fuse box. So I have my completed solar generator backup battery. There's my 100 amp hour battery in there. My 100 amp circuit breaker. My fuse block. My MPPT solar charge controller that is 20 amps. My 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. And my lithium battery charger which is also 20 amps. So on the top of my solar charge control, my battery, sorry, um, I have my battery monitor, and I also have my two USB ports here, and my 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. So basically this is gonna be my backup battery which uh, I'll be able to charge my other power stations. Right now I have the inverter on and on the battery monitor it shows that it is drawing 92 watts. On the Jackery it's putting 77 watts in it. Uh, I believe the losses are in the power brick. So I, this battery is basically going to charge, be back up for my EcoFlow Delta 2 and my Jackery 1000 when we go camping. So I can also use the Jackery if I want to top this back up. I'll turn on the Jackery there. And let's see here. And then my battery charger will start charging. It's on the lithium setting and it's at 20 amps right now. And it is drawing 135 watts, 170, 220, 250, 276. So this will charge, this DIY battery will charge a lot faster than my Jackery 1000. I believe my Jackery 1000 only charges at 100, maximum, maximum 160 volts, or 160 watts. Right now this one's taking 272. Since completing my 1200 watt homemade solar generator, uh, which is a lith lithium iron phosphate. I've used it twice for camping. I've used it to back up my EcoFlow Delta II, which is in my camper. So at night I would plug in the 
DC cigarette lighter plug into this port and this would transfer power from this lithium iron phosphate battery to my EcoFlow Delta 2. Now the charge rate was around 100 watts uh, transferring over. So 100 watts is not a lot, but it works. But I thought I just, I would like a little more transfer speed, um, about 200 watts, maybe 250. Uh, what I have done since then is I've added a DC to DC converter, which converts to 12 volt in this lithium iron phosphate to 24 volts and it outputs through this XT60 port and I also added a switch that can turn on and off this port. Um, one thing I did find that this is not a MPPT solar charge controller, it's just branded as MPPT. It's a PMW charge controller. So I have my River 2 here hooked up to the battery and right now it's sitting at 98% and nothing is being transferred but when I turn the switch on it should start to transfer there we go and I'll get maximum 110 um, on the river too that's the maximum DC uh, input and solar input but if I hook it up to the EcoFlow Delta 2 you'll see about 200 watts being transferred when the battery is below 90% and then it tapers off to about 170. So far this battery has done its job of supplementing power to my EcoFlow Delta 2 and my Jackery 1000 when I'm out camping.